Well, since the last show, I um, I finished my school. I did psych a degree in psychology, and after that, I decided to go traveling. So I hiked the uh, Camino de Santiago, which is a pilgrimage trail in Spain. And then um, on, on my trip, my pilgrimage, I got a lot of confirmation um, to continue painting. And so after that, I, de I decided to move up north and I painted for th about three months solidly. It's a little bit of a hermit, but it was, it was wonderful. And then from there, I've just been painting all summer. And now I have, I'm having this show. So it's, it's great because it's really been a process of um, just exploring what it is to pursue art full-heartedly and with, a, with less distractions so it's been a, it's been a really good good exploration and good time and I think that I'll, I'll keep doing it for sure mm -hmm. can you talk a little bit about your process like you were painting for three months uh, you do like um, When I was up north, it was winter, so it was indoors. I'd make sure I'd go out snowshoeing so I didn't go crazy. And um, and then when I came back to Victoria, I I paint upstairs. There's a huge loft upstairs where I live. I live with um, four other girls, and we share the upstairs. So it's beautiful because there's all these skylights, and it's quite open. So I have the, the whole room just to paint away all day. So it works really well. And I would like to, to try painting outdoors, but I find it's such an internal process that I I just get into a zone and I just sort of get lost in it. I can go for hours. So almost being in a room works better for me.